Grandmaster Ben Feingold says that you should never, ever resign unless you're a Grandmaster who's playing another Grandmaster and it's clear to see that in three, five, ten moves you are going to get checkmated. Then it's okay to resign. But if you are playing at a rating under 2,500, there's no reason to resign because you don't know for a fact that your opponent is not going to blunder at some point. And this game that I recently played is a perfect example of why you should never resign. So let's just quickly look at the eval bar through time. So it says that uh, I, black, and my opponent, white, were kind of even up until this point. And then white had an extreme advantage. And then that advantage went away. And then it came back. And then for the rest, <laughs> almost the rest of the entire game, white had a gigantic advantage over me until we get to this very end point where white loses all their advantage. And then suddenly it shoots back up. <laughs> but somehow I still won the game, despite the fact that my opponent had 75% accuracy and I had 67% accuracy. So let's see how this all happened and how it ended in me winning when I should not have at all. So here we have the moves. Book, book, book moves are just like very basic opening moves. Book, 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 book. And then my opponent leaves book to threaten my bishop. I move the pawn up to protect. The eval bar over here moves to show who has the advantage. It's still saying it's close to even with white having a small advantage. They move their knight in. I castle. They move their other knight in. I move a pawn up. They castle. I threaten their knight. If I take that knight, their pawn is pretty much forced to take my bishop which is going to double their pawns on the side that they're castled on and leave this nice big open gap here, uh, which is a, a liability. So the computer liked that I moved my bishop here to threaten the horse. And what does my opponent do? They do the same move to me! They threaten my knight, which means I would have to take with my pawn, leaving doubled pawns and a big open gap right here, which is a liability. Let's see what happens. I take... They take back. So it turns out that <laughs> my bishop threat was not all that powerful because it's not the pawn that takes. It is the queen. The queen is the one that took. And I didn't notice that. So even the computer said it was a good move, it was actually a dumb move. So there's a pretty dumb move number one by me. White's advantage goes up a little bit. And we're moving on. I move my knight out to develop it, bring it into the game. They move their knight to this lovely little spot. And you will notice that it is one knight's move away from calling check on my king. But obviously, they can't go to this spot right here because my queen would just take them. So, for now, I'm protected. But then, what do I do? I move my queen! <laughs> into the worst possible spot. So now, when this knight threatens the king, there's no piece to capture this knight, so my king has to move, which means that they can take my queen. <laughs> so, huge blunder, and you'll see that white's advantage shot up to more than five points with that blunder of a move, So, because it's basically losing my queen. But then... What happens? Do they fork me? No! <laughs> they don't fork me. <laughs> Which means that I can now do what I should have done on the previous move. Instead of moving my queen, I should have taken. Take the freaking knight! So what happens? I take the knight. And we're moving on. Oh, and I do another stupid move because now the bishop can take my knight for free. And that's what they do. Computer's okay with these moves. Uh, for some reason, the computer said this was a good move, even though it hangs my rook. 
<laughs> so what does my opponent do? They take my rook. I take back with my rook. Move, move, move. Normal moves. Pretty good moves. The queen comes in. The computer likes that move. The computer likes my defense because it threatens the queen. They move one back, and the computer likes that because <laughs> they are threatening my rook over here. But I don't see it. And I just take a pawn with my queen <laughs> and totally miss my hanging second rook. <laughs> and what do they do? They take my second rook. I just hung both rooks after narrowly missing a <laughs> royal fork. So that move is forced. I have to get my queen out, uh, king out of check. Computer likes that. Computer likes that. Computer likes that. So my plan here was to call check with the king, knowing that they can't take back with the king because that would put them in check with my queen. So they're pretty much forced to move or take. And they decide to take. Uh, the computer says that moving the king would have been the best because now I can not only take their rook, but also call check again. And that's what I do. They move the rook back because they're forced to. And it says that I should have taken the rook, which I don't understand, but we're moving on. Computer likes white's move. Computer does not like my move. Computer likes white's move because they're closing in on my king. But oh no, if I take that pawn, then they can't move into that square. And that's what I do. I take their pawn because I don't want them to go there. But I'm only saying that in hindsight because I actually had no idea that they were going to try to move there. I just wanted to take a free pawn. So what's their next move? They blunder their queen. So <laughs> their advantage goes down to negative. <laughs> and it's because my queen is protecting that square. So clearly, my next move is going to be to take that queen. And my opponent realizes their mistake. And I know for a fact what they're thinking uh, based on future events uh, that I can see in hindsight. They just want to resign because a queen blunder is so terrible. They think, I just moved my queen into this space. I'm going to lose my queen. I better resign. So it's at this point that they click the resign button. Chess.com has a setting where you can require a confirmation of your resignation. So it's not just one button click. It's two button clicks. So I can almost guarantee that when they made that queen blunder and realized it, they clicked the first button to resign. And they, <laughs> they were just about to click confirm resignation because they thought that what I was going to do is take their queen. But of course, I didn't see their queen blunder. And I click to protect with the pawn. <laughs> and they get all their advantage back and it's mate in five. <laughs> But unfortunately, their finger was on the way to pressing the confirm resignation button. And it was too late. By the time I moved my pawn, their finger was just about to hit confirm. And they did. They <laughs> resigned. They resigned against mate in five. They were so quick to resign that I won this match. I had a horrible Horrible game with 67% accuracy compared to their 75% accuracy. After the game stopped being even right about here, I had such a horrible disadvantage from all these terrible moves. Terrible, 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 terrible. And then they blundered their queen. And then I didn't realize it. And they resigned. <laughs> Moral of the story, never, ever resign. Have a nice day.